I'm gonna walk through using Photoshop, Illustrator, and Canva today. <laughs> I was recently asked how to make mock-ups for your Etsy listings or your website listings. And that's what I'm going to show you today. I'm going to walk through using Photoshop, Illustrator, and Canva today. So if you're looking for something else, that's not going to be in this video. But if you are looking for one of those programs, stay tuned. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jordan and I like to share tips for creative small businesses. My goal this year is to be a well-rounded resource for all types of creative small businesses. So if you have any questions or topic requests, leave them in the comments and I'm happy to answer or make a video for you. Enough rambling, let's get into the video. And hi, Tate. Hi, buddy. You coming to join us? You gonna lay down? Go lay on your bed. Good boy, yes. So it looks like he's gonna be joining us for the remainder of this video. So I'm gonna start with Photoshop. I have been using Photoshop for a long time. I still think it's the best program to use. However, if you're trying to make things faster, I actually recommend Illustrator. But Photoshop is great for, well, it's known for editing photos. That's the bread and butter. So of course it's gonna be the best in that regard. But the exporting process can take longer than Illustrator. So it can kind of slow down your whole process if you're only using Photoshop. So what I find extremely helpful for Photoshop is to have like a master Photoshop document where it has all of your mockups. And personally for me, I split it out between like everyday stuff and Christmas because I just have so many mockups for Christmas and so many different product types that it's just easier to have that as a separate document document. So I'm going to preface this by saying it's going to make a really large file, but if you're using a Mac, it will probably run just fine. I actually have tons of Photoshop files that are kind of my main like mock-up files. So like I was doing things like this where the sticker would go in my hand. Um, if it was a mega bundle, I had things like that. The Libby ones, you know, just as I was making them, I was like, I'm just gonna save this so I can come back to it and it's easier to use. My Christmas one is the exact same thing as my SVG one. It just has different mockups. Okay, so I'm gonna show you. Here is kind of what my mockups look like. Did you know you can do that? You can drag the eye to turn things on and off. But yeah, so these are the mockups I have. I have them organized by like what they are. So this is my background that I was using. Here are some of the mugs and I have those all sectioned out in a group. And then I have my signs. These are all like that. And so I can just quickly turn one on and off. And then my shirts is where I have most of my stuff. Okay. I'm dropping in a PNG file and it went all the way at the bottom. So I'm gonna drag this all the way up to the top. I'm gonna to hit Command T to open up the transform tools. And I'm just gonna scale that down by dragging the little crosshairs. But if you want this to look more realistic, click on the layer and then come over here to the blend mode and change it to multiply. So I'm gonna show you that. See how Right here, you can see the wrinkles come through a little bit. It just makes it a little bit more realistic. Like this is what a lot of listings on Etsy look like and it's so fake looking. But if you do this, it just elevates it a little bit more and makes it look more realistic and believable. I mean, honestly, this is the basics of how to make a mock-up. I think what takes more time is the file prep, like getting all your mock-ups together and organized, but also exporting them. So in Photoshop, you have to export things one at a time. If you're only doing like five designs, you're really not gonna see that impact. But if you have like 30 designs to do, that takes a lot longer to export one at a time. And then not to mention, you have to turn off layers and go through all this and see what mockup you wanna use. And it could be different for each design. So now you're jumping between layers and all this stuff. So I think it's good for realism. But timing wise, I think Illustrator is just a little bit better. However, if you have a design that's looking really flat, you can only really fix that in Photoshop with the multiply blend layer. Pros and cons to all of these. And before I exit Photoshop, I'm just gonna show you my file information. So if you hit Command Option I, it pulls up the image size. I have this as a six by four, which is a two to three ratio. I actually thought I had it as two by three and I have it at 300, but honestly you could change this to 240 and it's really not gonna make a huge difference, especially because these are web graphics. So it lowered it by about 2.3 megabytes, which 
when you have lots of photos going on your website that can make a difference. It doesn't have to be super huge, but I like the two to three ratio. My favorite way to make mockups now is in Illustrator. I created an entire video where I showed you my file organization process and in that video I shared that I now use Illustrator for mockups and I kind of showed a little bit of how I do that. So to get started using Illustrator for mockups, you'll want to create a new artboard. I have this sized at three by two inches, so pretty small files. And what I did was I just dragged in all of my mockups that I wanted to use and I reorganized them so it's in order of color. And what this is helpful for is, let's say I wanna use the same book stack design, but I'm not sure what color I wanna mock it up on. I can just bring in a few of these. Maybe I want to mock it up on a bunch of different layouts anyways and show you all the different options. So now I selected the ones and I'm just holding option down to copy and paste those basically. And using the space bar is how I'm using the hand tool. I'm going to drag these down. You don't even have to do this step, but I like to have things nice and organized. And now I can just zoom in real quick, scale this down. That looks fine on there. Honestly, you can still see it on here, so it's not terrible on the yellow. And I'm just holding option down to duplicate these. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work on that one, so I'm just gonna skip over that. And then here's the last one. So I'm gonna actually hit Shift O and delete that whole one. Imagine these were all different files. You would be able to now export 44 through 48 and you'd have five designs already exported. So it's super convenient to do it that way. So if it's hard for you to visualize what the mockup's gonna look like, go to view, trim view, and then it trims everything outside of the artboard. And now you can see what the mockup's gonna look like so you can rearrange this if you wanted to. I found that helpful to visualize it a little bit better. So the one con to Illustrator is that you can't use the multiply blend mode. So these do look a little flat. If you don't really care about that though, this is gonna save you a lot of time. If you do care, you might want to maybe lower the opacity to 90 so it looks a little bit better. I'm gonna change this one to 90 as well. Now the great thing with Illustrator is that you can export multiple artboards at the same time. I have a shortcut for exporting and I replaced the quit shortcut, which is Command Q, and that now is my export as shortcut. Now I can just export, what was it, 44 through 48, I believe, and that's gonna export all of my designs all at one time. So now you can see these all exported all at one time and in just a few seconds you have five files. If you want to save even more time, what I would do is rename these artboards by going to the artboard tool, which is shift O and then renaming it to bookstack, whatever. Have each artboard have a different name and then you can quickly rename. I also have a video on that if you don't know what I'm talking about. But that is the basics of using Illustrator for mockups. It's super easy. It's now my favorite way. And I just love that you can see all of your options super easy. I do want to make another version of this with like wood signs and non apparel options, but to get started with this, I have been using apparel and I love it. This makes things just immensely easier for me. So very happy I came up with a system that's gonna work. So if you don't have the Adobe Creative Suite, Canva is a great alternative option that is free and easy to use. So you're just gonna come up here to custom size and I'm going to do inches three by two. Why is this not changing to three? There we go. And then I'm going to create new design. I'm going to find my mockups and drag it in here to upload. So I dragged that design in and now I'm just gonna resize it. If you hold down option, it's scaling it on all ends and not just like one side at a time. So we got that. Now I'm going to find my SVG I wanna use. I'm gonna bring that book stack and I'm bringing the PNG into here and it laid it right on top. So now I can just scale this down and look at that. So basically we have the same mock-up and process, except with Canva, you can add pages. So I'm going to drag another mock-up in here and holding down option, it's gonna scale that super quick. I'm actually going to increase this a little bit bigger so that I can have the design be more of the focus. 
Now I'm going to bring another design in and scale that down and see see when it has those crosshairs like that it is perfectly centered on both sides so now you have two files that you can export i believe if you have a canva pro membership you might be able to access the effects and be able to change this blend mode to multiply like you can in photoshop but since i don't have canva pro i can't show you that but i am going to change the page titles and then i'm going to export i'm going to download um just the first two pages and download so you can see it downloaded each page as two different images. You do have to drag in each mockup that you want to use, each design, but once you have everything uploaded, it would just be a matter of finding the mockup you want to use and bringing it into the template. So it might be a little bit faster than Photoshop, but I personally have more experience with Photoshop, so that's why I would always go there. But I do like that it kept the name as how you had it and not like bookstack dash something else what i would do is make sure that you are changing the name of each of these before you export just to save yourself a little bit of time one thing i didn't show you is like let's say you wanted to move this you can flip this image around and you can move this over here so that is helpful if you have like information you want to have like svg or whatever info you like to put on your templates but that is how you would make a mock-up in canva it's actually pretty easy i'm happy that this is a good alternative to photoshop and it's really not that difficult to figure out i hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful if you have any questions let me know and i'm happy to answer them i'd love to know what is your favorite program for making mock-ups have a wonderful day i will see you next time bye